So today we're going to go about spraying the original carpet. Even though we've fitted the black one, we're interested to see how well the original OEM carpet, which is grey, dies to black. So is it worth dyeing your carpet or buying a new one? So we're not quite sure how it turned out. So what we're going to do is give it clean, give it dye, and then compare the two after the fact. Today we're going to be using Black Knight carpet dye. It's from eBay. I think it's 30 quid for 5 litres. We've actually used this one before on the E30 carpet, and it didn't turn out too bad. So we're going to give it another go on the E39 one and see how it looks. Now, full disclosure is we used this on the boot trim and it turned out blue. Whereas the E30 carpet actually turned out black, so we're not sure if this has gone off or it's always been blue and we've never noticed. <laughs> so uh, we've got a little bit left. We'll uh, do the boot trim again, which you'll see now. To wake up, you're going to wake up. And if you're not ready, you're going to stay pretending that you're just a little, poor little me. So basically when you buy this dye, you get this asthmatic bottle to spray it with. So it will demonstrate how bad it is, but I wouldn't recommend it because I think you'd be there. A week? Yeah, a week. <laughs> and that's just to do a boot trim. So as before, when we're done the third carpet, we use the cheap spray gun. The same one? Yeah, it's the same one. So maybe that's why I blew. <laughs> as you can see, it speeds up the process as this is merely an experiment, as the black carpet is already in the E39, this is just compare. So the question is, is it worth dyeing your carpet black, maybe dark blue, versus OEM black? If you'd like to see the result, stay tuned for next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to clean the boot trim first with the uh, Bissell, Bissell device. Yeah, looks like a helmet. Yeah, well, it's the Spot Clean Pro malarkey. So we've got some no nonsense carpet cleaner in. So, yeah. You can't uh, tell, but it smells amazing. So I can only imagine it looks cleaner. Do you think it looks cleaner? I don't. Well, maybe a bit. To be honest, this doesn't look that bad. The boot panels obviously are low traffic areas for the most part. So they're not as ditched as you can see with the carpet. That's like, I can't believe it, that was in the car, it's so bad. And the carpet actually smells, so. As you can see, the driver's side is much worse than the passenger so around the seats are bad the cleanest part is under the pedal mount i expect this will come up a little bit better or at least hoping That's what he was driving around with. As you can see, this is the first full dirty tank of water. This is just out of the driver's side and the boot rear panels. I think the majority of this is actually coming out of the driver's carpet. 
So I've done two passes on the driver carpet now and it's still looking ditched. While it's not perfectly clean, it smells darn sight better. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this to dry now and see what it looks like in the morning. As a lot of water's gone into it, so I expect it's not going to be dry for a while. So when we first, we'd, when uh, we'd done the E30 carpet, we didn't clean it to start with. We just kind of hoovered it and sprayed down on it. So by doing this step, we hope it turns out a little bit better. Or at least gives it a fighting chance. Even though the other one actually turned out all right as well. So yeah, I'll do the drop. Now I've done the driver's side, I'll do the passenger side, leave them to dry and then get to dyeing the things tomorrow or the next day, whenever they dry. You can tell the difference on the passenger side. This came up much easier or better than the driver's. I think the driver's side just needs a few goes over. So just for demonstration purposes, why I don't recommend this. Okay, I, maybe I'm a little bit lazier in the sense I've not even tried this and I've given up before I've even tried it because I know it's going to be too slow. It's like wear a mask, gloves, and you need plenty of ventilation and it's solvent based. That's going to be epic. Blue, there we are. It's, a, it's pretty good. Bit. There we go, we'll be done by uh, probably 12 o'clock, as in midnight. I'd probably use this if I just wanted to touch it up inside the car. Whereas my lazy method with a cheese spray gun is much quicker. So as you can see, that's the first coat. Took all of 30 seconds, hence the spray gun. What do you think of the first coat? I think this is looking more black than the other one, so maybe it does go off, but we'll see. So I'd probably suggest doing this outside if you can. We're doing it inside as the weather's a bit patchy at the moment. So to recap, the prep work we did was clean carpet, hoover it, hoover it clean, and then this is the first coat. So this first coat's taken about 250 mils so far. So next coat. Are you ready? Go for it. That's the second coat done. Probably used about 500 mil at this point of dye, so we got the passenger side to do and then the rear carpets. I think five litres is more than enough to do a couple of coats. One step you could do is in between these coats is rub it in as you want it to sink into the fibres and it'll probably give a better end result. Yeah, that's the driver's side done. What do you think compared to the two? We've got the passenger side on the left, the driver's, the first coat is done anyway. The driver's side is on the right. Compare the two. What do you think so far? So it's been 24 hours since we dyed the carpet. In actual fact, it's been the weekend since we dyed the carpet. They're not looking too bad, given it was only the first coat. So yeah, they look better than the boot trim we did, but this is the other dye. So today, we're going to give it another coat, give the boot trims another coat, and then I think that will be it. Two coats on this but the difference is in between those two coats we've actually rinsed some well we've rinsed them off basically because when we've done the e30 carpet the dye kept coming off for quite a while after it wasn't until the sunroof leaked and swamped the uh, hole in like carpet it stopped leaking out overall i don't think it looks too bad don't know you know more once it's dried yeah we're gonna have to let it dry see what it looks like 
I do think it's going to pass muster in the boot to nail it anyway. Again, compared to the grey carpet, it looks far better anyway. So I don't think you'd open the boot and know straight away it's been dyed. I don't think it might look a bit faded. So it might look more natural this way than what it would if it turned out great. However, it doesn't look too bad. But what do you think? At the minute there's a light on it, whereas outside the black don't look too bad. It kind of looks like black. Whereas here it looks a bit zebra-like. It's been roughly a week since we've done the carpet. It don't look too bad. We've done three coats. I think it would pass as a black carpet. However, I think in reality the carpet's fairly worn. So it don't look perfect. But if you put it next to the real thing, you probably wouldn't notice it's been dyed. Yeah, Not if you don't perfect. have a choice, it don't look that bad. Don't now. put it under LED lights and you won't notice that it looks like this because once it's in the car you can't forget about it it looks a lot worse on camera yeah it looks worse on camera than it does in person because we've been saying for the last week or two that it don't look that bad sat in the corner <laughs> looked better than we thought it did <laughs> it now, looked quite good down there earlier you put it in front of the camera and you put some lights on it and it kind of looks naff again so what do you think do you think it's worth dyeing carpet or just go with the OEM all in all it's not a bad thing to do I think dyeing carpet will turn out okay will it be perfect no should you buy new if you can, but most people don't. And 25 quid for some dye is far cheaper than buying an OEM carpet, if you can even buy one. 